Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am super excited to share something amazing with you. Meet the Electric's Microbit Robot Car, the cute bot, a DIY programmable robot car kit designed for STEM education. It's perfect for kids, beginners, and anyone who wants to explore the exciting world of robotics and coding. What makes this little car so special is it's packed with features that will blow your mind. From ultrasonic and distant sensors to RGB headlights and line tracking sensors, it's got everything you need to get started with coding, learning, and having fun with robotics. If you are really into DIY robotics, make sure you watch this video till the end because you will find really interesting and useful things to get started with robotics. So let's check it out. As usual, let's get started with the unboxing. This is the box it comes in, and inside this, you will find the cute board car itself, a battery holder, an HC SR04 ultrasonic sensor, a line tracking map, as well as a detailed brochure. The components are well organized and easy to assemble. The user friendly design ensures that even complete beginners can get this robot up and running in no time. The electric cute board is built for creativity and exploration. Here is a quick look at its main features. First, we have the ultrasonic sensor. It detects obstacles and measures distance with high precision. Then we have the line tracking sensor. This is perfect for following paths on the included map or custom made tracks. RGB headlights and rainbow LEDs. They add a touch of style and functionality, making it look like a real car. High speed DC motors. Two powerful GA12 N20 DC microgear deceleration motors provide excellent speed and control for the robot. IAC and servo ports. They allow us to connect additional modules like joystick or sensors to this robot. Another interesting feature of this robot is multiple control options. There are multiple ways to control this robot. You can use Bluetooth, infrared remote controller, or a joystick bit to drive it. Now, Let's take a look at the assembly and programming. Building the cute board is straightforward and fun. Once it's assembled, you can start coding it. With support for MakeCode, Microblock and Python, the possibilities are endless. Okay guys, now let me show you how easy it is to code this robot. One way to code this robot is using MakeCode. Simply search for MakeCode in Google. And here you should be able to see this link right here. Simply click on that. Now, if you want, you can create an account, but for the time being, I'm not creating any account. So simply click on new project and give this project a name. Let's name it Rootset Cutebot and click on create. Uh, here on the left side, you should be able to see some functions, some basic functions. Now, we need to add one extension for Cutebot. On the search bar on top, simply search for Cutebot and hit enter. Here, you should be able to see Cutebot and Cutebot Pro. So for the time being, I will be selecting Cutebot because that's the one we are currently working on. Simply click on that. And here in the left side, you should be able to see this new extension, Cutebot. Now, simply click on that. And here, you should be able to see all the functions that are supported by our Cutebot robot. Now, these are some blocks that I created just to show you how this actually works. Here, you can see two main blocks, that is, on start and forever. On start is like the setup function of Arduino. That means everything in the on start block will be running once when the robot is powered on. And the forever block is like a loop function. That means everything inside this block will be running again and again and again. So here what happens is when we power on the robot, the LED metrics will be lighting up in this pattern. So if you want to change this pattern, we can simply click on this pattern right here and change and the preview will be shown on the left side. And now in the 4 hour block, we can see that there is one condition. So the main condition is if the light level is less than 30, that means if the ambient light is low, then the headlights will be turning up in this pattern. Since it's an RGB LED, we need to provide the value for R, G as well as B. So, with these values, the LEDs will be lighting up. Else, if the light level is greater than 30, that means if there is enough ambient light, it should turn off the LEDs. So, now we need to upload this code. 
here on the bottom left you should be able to see this download button simply click on that and it will tell you we need to connect our microbit to our computer simply connect it to our computer all right now click on next now we can see that the microbit has been connected to our browser now all you need to do is click on this download button and there you go guys the code has been uploaded and this is how it looks basically when i block the ambient lights the headlights lights up if not it will be turning off the graphical programming tools makes it accessible for kids while python allows advanced users to dive deeper into robotics programming this wiki page provides tons of resources and tutorials to guide you through every step from basic programming to more complicated projects so let's take a look at the applications and fun projects that you can do with cutebot so there are so many things that you can do with this one you can create a line following robot to navigate custom tracks you can program the ultrasonic sensor to avoid obstacles you can even customize the rgb headlights and clearance lamps for a personalized touch you can also build interactive projects with buzzer horn and leds as you can see the possibilities are endless whether you are just starting out or looking to enhance your skills this cute board car kit is a fantastic learning tool for you so guys there you have it the electric cute board a fun educational and highly versatile robot car kit it's perfect way to explore coding and robotics while having a blast would you like to get one yourself check out the link in the description below and make sure you follow electric social media pages for updates on new products and features by the way guys if you haven't seen electric's robot dog kit make sure you check out this video right here so guys see you in the next video